Hello, welcome how to destroy Pokemon with Shin Gundam. What you have in front of you is a Passimian kit. Now this kit, much like the Armored Gyarados kit, is a colorless kit that can be fitted into any deck of your choosing. What you have in front of you is a set of Passimian, three Mew EXs, three Dawn of Memories, two Rotom decks, and two Bridgets. Now, this is the higher higher end version of this kit. Now there is a lower version of it, meaning it's a cheaper version. And let me show you the differences. Now this is a lower cost kit. It involves four Pacivians, four Muse, Dawn of Memories, four Fighting Fury Belts, two Rome Decks, and Bridget. It's essentially the same thing. The only difference is you would have to rely on Fighting Fury Belt to beef up Mew from 50 hit points to 90 hit points and plus 10 damage. Now let's see what this kit can do. Now in optimal settings, normally in your first hand, hopefully you have a Passimian. Odds are, usually you do. Now, once you have a Passimian, you actually need at least the entire Passimian for this kit to work. Much like the Gyarados kit, it needs all four Magikarps. This one needs all four Passimians. How do you do that? Like I said, usually you have one Passimian in your hand, and then you play Bridget. Now Bridget allows you to get one Pokemon EX, or you can get three basic Pokemon. And that's how this kit works. So once you have all the Passimian on your, on your bench, now mind you, the primary attacker of this deck is Mew, not Passimian. Why? Now Passimian's power is 10 damage plus 30 damage for every Passimian on the bench. So therefore, if Passimian is your primary attacker, your bench is smaller as far as Passimian goes, so that's 3, 6, 9, plus 10, 100 damage. You want to maximize this. And that's what Mew is for. Now both of these versions of Mew can copy, he can copy anybody on your bench, their attacks, and Mew EX can copy anybody on the field, or on the table rather. So, let's say Mew EX copies team play. So that would be 3, 6, 9, 12, plus 10, it's 103 damage for a very cheap cost of double colorless on turn one. Now, you might say, well, what if one of my Pacimians are prized? What do I do? And that's where Rotom Dex comes in. Rotom Dex allows you to count the number of prize cards you have, shuffle them back into your deck, and then place back exactly six prize cards from the top of your deck as the new ones. So there's a very good chance they'll be recycled back into your deck. Now, some of you may notice on the my, my deck list, you may see this guy. Now, like a meh card. He's not that great. Um, guillotine's 50 damage. He has Roof Fling, which relies on a coin toss. 110, basic green. But that's where you basically have to, like, let it go. Meaning, I don't use this card as my primary attacker either, I'll lose. Think of this as a tool. Now, he goes on the bench, and Mew EX, or Mew for that matter, can copy Fling for a double colorless. What's it for? What's he there for? Now, let's say your Pokemon starts breaking out the break card, or evolves up to stage 2, or worse even yet, a mega Pokemon. And that's where Roofling comes in. Roofling, essentially, you flip a coin as an attack. Or if you land a head, the Pokemon, the defending Pokemon, goes back into your opponent's hand and all the cards attach it. And you're like, well, what does that do? Well, if he's a Stage 2, he just wasted all his resources to evolve that guy to Stage 2. If he use Evo Sodas, if he use Ultra Balls, and worse yet, if he's rare candy, his chain is broken. 
Now, if he plays a Mega, worse even yet, he may have lost his Spirit Link, and then he'll have to sit there for one turn. Two turns with this guy will pretty much kill a Mega. That's 130 damage times two, that's 260. That pretty much kills usually most Megas. And that's where Roofling comes in. So, be kind to the underdog. Give him a shot. He's worked for me a lot. Now, mind you, this kit, or the deck for that matter, is essentially a cheap introductory deck. It's very simple, but it works. Thank you, and God bless.